Hi guys, this is Giridhar here. I'm gonna talk about uh, the Lenovo Vibe Shot today. So this device is a premium flagship from Lenovo and uh, this device has got a lot of emphasis on this design and the camera. It is a recent addition to the Lenovo Vibe series. It has been announced in the uh, Mobile World Congress uh, earlier this year and now it is available in India. The highlight of this device is its camera. So let's go ahead and check out the mobile as well as the camera functionalities of the Lenovo Vibe Shot. From a design point of view, uh, it looks more like a point and shoot camera. It's got uh, metal rims around the edges and uh, there's a glass back. Uh, on the right side you have the volume rocker, power button and also the dedicated shutter key along with a toggle for switching between pro and auto mode in the camera. At the top you have the 3.5mm audio jack and a noise cancelling mic. At the bottom you have the micro USB socket and speaker grills and also there is a groove for uh, your lanyard. On the left side you have a SIM tray, uh, it, it, it takes in uh, dual SIMs and also uh, there is a micro SD card slot here. So you can expand the memory of this device by up to uh, 128 GB using this micro SD card slot. At the back you have the 16 megapixel uh, camera and uh, with a tricolor LED flash and also an IR um, sensor here for your IR assisted um, uh, auto focusing and the back is made of, uh, it is covered with glass and the design is kind of very nice and it, it when I look at this mobile it reminds me of the old uh, Sony uh, T70 or T, T series uh, point and shoot cameras. Uh, also it's got a nice uh, size to it. The display is 5 inch and uh, you have the 8 megapixel uh, camera on the front and you have the uh, along with the earpiece and uh, your usual sensors. The uh, navigation key is backlit. Uh, because it's a 5 inch uh, mobile it fits neatly in my hand and uh, the metal edges gives me a premium look. The glass at the back and front are not fingerprint magnets and I've been using this mobile for uh, over two weeks now and I've been uh, rough handling it and uh, this device hasn't got any um, signs of wear and tear. It, it, it still looks good. The display is protected by a Corning Gorilla Glass uh, 3. Uh, I wish it had Corning Gorilla Glass 4. Uh, otherwise the display is uh, really vibrant and brilliant as you can see here it is responsive as well. Uh, it has got a very good uh, sunlight readability. The 5 inch display has got very thin bezels. So this display is a full HD at 1080p display and uh, on a 5 inch screen the PPI would be uh, 441 pixels per inch. I did have some issues with the proximity sensor of this device so whenever I turned on this pocket dial prevention mode so when I unlock my mobile and try and uh, use this display I, I get this annoying notification which asks me like preventing unnecessary screen touch but yeah I have unlocked my screen so this must actually not work so uh, now it's not working so for the initial few seconds uh, the notification does come and uh, it, it doesn't allow you to use the screen so I had to go in and uh, turn off the particular feature so which is there inside uh, your lock screen settings so it's called the pocket tile prevention mode the Lenovo Vibe Shot is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 processor with an Adreno 4405 for the graphics. It's got 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage. Uh, it does supports uh, USB OTG and uh, the processor and specifications are of a mid-segment device and the device uh, scores uh, very uh, average scores on the uh, benchmark. But uh, I always don't go by benchmark scores. I threw in everything on this mobile. I installed over 50 applications and uh, which includes some top 10 games and fill the storage with music, videos and still the response and the speed of the mobile was not affected. Uh, it did get heated up but that's when I used the camera outdoors and after intensive gaming also is slightly heated up but the heat is within the acceptable levels. So as you can see there is no lag or frame drop while playing games like uh, Need for Speed or Asphalt and uh, but I did not like the graphic rendering as the edges were not uh, smoothly rendered in the 3D graphics. The speakers were another bummer while playing games. It was weak and it didn't pack the punch and also while holding the device uh, like this uh, if you could easily block uh, the speakers and 
you definitely need an external speaker for the best gaming experience out of this device. So the Lenovo Vibeshot supports dual SIM card and both the SIM cards are 4G LTE compatible and telephonic calls were clear and the mobile was comfortable to hold in the hand and talk for long. Uh, well I did have some issues uh, with the Wi-Fi connectivity on this mobile so uh, it says to keep uh, Wi-Fi on always and the default setting is uh, smart so uh, smart is when the screen goes to lock uh, the Wi-Fi is disabled and uh, when I unlock the uh, a screen uh, all the notification come in bulk and sometimes I also had to uh, log in again uh, because my office Wi-Fi needs me to log in every time when I switch on the Wi-Fi so that was a bit irritating so I went into this mode and uh, disabled uh, this or, or choose a mode wherein uh, the LAN is the Wi-Fi LAN is always on even if it is if the, even if the mobile is on sleep Another issue which I had uh, with this mobile was the uh, cell broadcast messages. The cell broadcast messages are something which uh, service providers keep sending you and uh, these messages were really annoying and I had to uh, turn these off. So I had to go here uh, under the settings and uh, disable all types of cell broadcasting. The Lenovo Vibe Shot runs on 5.1.1 uh, with the Vibe UI on top. One feature is a uh, quick snap which helps you kind of click a picture immediately when you press uh, double, double tap uh, the volume piece. Another one is uh, knock to wake. So, uh, double tapping the screen uh, would, uh, uh, would have to unlock it but uh, it, it didn't work for me always so, so it, it worked on and off and I had to rely on the power button sometimes so and uh, what the feature which I really like here is the smart scene so I had a customized smart scene to help me uh, control the mobile notification sound and everything based on my location or based on the time of uh, the day and that really helped me and uh, it's quite intelligent and there is a feature called white touch which I chose to uh, switch off so the white touch basically gives you a shortcut of all the features on yours on any anywhere in the screen so uh, I didn't want that intrusion in my screen so I had uh, turned it off otherwise there are a lot of features like your uh, app uh, permission control which is a relatively new feature in Android uh, Marshmallow but you already get that feature in this uh, mobile so there's a permission control you can really go ahead and control uh, which app gets which permission so uh, when I see uh, the uh, uh, Facebook uh, apps here I have disabled all the permissions which Facebook has on my mobile so that gives me a sense of security and uh, a lot of control to my mobile so let's talk about the camera the rear camera is a 16 megapixel camera with 6 element lens arrangement with uh, tricolor LED flash and IR assisted autofocus system the lens has a maximum aperture of f2.2 uh, I wish it had uh, even larger aperture uh, it is capable of uh, recording 1080p videos at 30 frames per second it's got a dedicated shutter button and a toggle button to toggle between pro and auto mode uh, it's got an inbuilt optical image stabilization however the wipe shot being a camera centering mobile I would have appreciated uh, it had a wider aperture and if the mobile was capable of uh, 4k videos uh, the front camera is a 7.9 or 8 megapixel uh, sensor uh, again it's a f2.2 and it is capable of recording full HD videos the auto mode is pretty simple and straightforward the UI is simple and uh, it has got a smart mode I can disable or enable the smart mode and smart mode actually directs uh, the scene and gives me the right uh, calibration of settings. Uh, it also got an uh, interesting mode called uh, smart composition. So when the smart composition is on, as you can see, it asks me to move forward or move backward for better composition so now it says it's 100 percent sure that it's a good compost shot so it, it works on food it works on people it works on landscape so it covers most of the use cases and this uh, uh, smart composition is really good for beginners and if you're not a beginner if you know what you're doing you can always switch to the pro mode the pro mode gives you more control over your camera and uh, just a swipe brings in all your controls and uh, right from your ISO settings to the exposure level to the shutter speed and uh, to the focusing and also uh, white balance you can control everything but I wasn't happy by the fact that 
uh, you can't control, uh, you can't have a faster shutter speed. The fastest, uh, I get like 1 by uh, 15th or 1 by 5th or 1 second shutter speed, but I would have preferred to have shutter speeds like 100th of a second or uh, 1 200th of a second, if not the thousands, at least the hundreds would have been good because that helps me in capturing the uh, uh, fast moving subjects better. Uh, apart from uh, this uh, pro mode here, so you get some uh, some other intelligent uh, presets for panorama for your panoramic shots and art, art nightscapes. This is good for your night shots. There is an HDR mode. I really didn't like the HDR mode because it was uh, uh, over pronounced or over saturated images which really didn't look natural. But what I really really liked in this mobile is this golden years feature. So the golden years features basically lets you uh, do a light painting. So uh, as you can see from the uh, 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 clues here, you can dif select different uh, settings and you can do light painting. So uh, there are lots, lots of features in this mobile and which is, uh, these features would definitely be of interest for anyone who is interested in mobile photography. So as you can see here, I've been using this mobile for quite some time and I'm really enjoying the shots taken with this mobile and uh, look at this night shot. It is fantastic. So it was shot in a palace with the night light setting and uh, even at this uh, low light condition, the camera was really good. I really appreciate the camera uh, features in this mobile. This one shot in pro mode and you can see the sun rays kind of uh, falling through the uh, roof in inside the temple here. You can check all these shots which I've taken using this mobile uh, in, my, in a link below. So I'll share this images with high resolution so that you can have a look at uh, it by yourself. Uh, there are certain areas uh, which this camera succeeds and a few where it doesn't. It does not give you a good quality of depth in focus. So uh, the objects in the background are blurred but the blur is not really smooth. So that's something which uh, could have been better in this mobile. At times depending upon the direction of light, the IR fails to get the subject in focus. Uh, in the auto mode but when it comes to the pro mode uh, it really latches onto the subject quick, uh, quite uh, quickly. The IR focusing system works like a charm. It is fast and uh, comparable to any other laser assisted auto focusing system. It is a uh, tad bit accurate. So the Vibe Shot has a 2900 mAh battery. Uh, it's called, the battery is sealed inside the body. It's not user replaceable. On a normal usage the device lasted for a little uh, less than 24 hours but if you're going to use the screen often and take a lot of shots with your camera and charge kind of uh, goes away in less than 17 hours. So be prepared to carry an additional battery pack if you're taking this device as a primary camera when you're going around on your travel trips. Also, it does not have wireless charging or quick charging. It takes uh, painfully longer than two hours to quickly charge this device. Overall, I would say that this Lenovo Vibe Shot is definitely a pleasing mobile to handle and uh, definitely a good mobile to own. And uh, I've been using this mobile for a little over than uh, two or three weeks now. And I feel that this mobile is good for camera enthusiasts. So if, you're, if you really like mobile photography, you must go ahead and get a, a Lenovo Vibe Shot. And even as a smartphone, it doesn't uh, disappoint you. It's really good. And even for the mediocre spec sheet under the hood, this device performs really well. Uh, but the only problem is the pricing. So it has been priced at rupees 25,499, uh, which is a bit pricey for this segment. And uh, if Lenovo had just reduced the price by 2,000 or even 3,000, uh, the wipe shot would have been definitely a great buy. If you like my videos, do hit the subscribe or the like button and uh, do let me know your comments and thoughts about this video as well. And if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to help. This is Girida signing off.